So first we're going to start off with a SIG P320, this is the X5 Legion, but uh, the thing that I'm really wanting to dig into and check out is the Romeo 2. So I've got this set up as the enclosed emitter version of this. Uh, installation was easy, um, probably the most intensive working on it aspect of it was was removing the original mounting plate and to do so I had to pull the striker and the um, tensioner for the extractor um, and by doing that it was simple just a simple push of that button and while doing that covering the rear cover plate and sliding it off obviously with the slide pulled off of the frame and there was two screws in there with an allen that you, that I pulled out and then the rest was using the enclosed kit including uh, I'm, I'm gonna assume just because of the familiarity that I have with their products uh, fix it sticks brand um, torque and this is already at 28 inch pounds is the only thing this works at which is exactly what you need and before you put the emitter hood and the glass on you install the optic with the thread lock which is also included uh, you, you spec that out and then this has got a, um, a bar across the front that goes into the front of the optic and it closes down with the hood with the piece of glass in place and then here on the two sides um, with the included other size uh, uh, torque uh, this one is not an inch pound limiter so either you just got to do it till it's gently attached with some thread lock on and witness it or you can not realize that this is also not a torqued out inch value like this one is and go till it snaps off and something's gonna break so don't do that um, but SIG did do this a nice addition of things to include this with the optic for the price they're charging, they should include this with it. Um, and of course, they've rebranded the Fix-It Stick to have SIG marked on it. Nice addition though. Uh, anyway, so I've done kind of a rough um, mechanical zero of this. Now I'm gonna try it out. Uh, the ammo that I'm using today is uh, nine by 19 Luger 124 grain, and this is Igman. <coughs> Not a real high end as far as uh, like a duty quality. It's just full metal jacket ball ammo but it's what we're using for the test. Um, once I've done and see how things look on the target, uh, we're gonna try it and compare it to uh, this Glock. This is a, a Model 17 uh, with the Strike Industries compensator and kind of a range toy, but this has got the 509T on, installed on it. And we'll just see which one seems to shoot a tighter group. Obviously, a um, big part of that component is how I shoot. And I do have more trigger time on a Glock and the angles, but uh, I'm gonna give it my best for both rounds. And we're doing bolts from 45 feet, uh, 15 yard line, and we're just using a, uh, a bullseye target just to be able to compare things. Same ammo in both, and uh, let's see how it works. We'll see how they compare. Uh, 17 rounds out of the Glock 17. Same distance, target on the right hand side. And this is the uh, Hollow Sun 509.
right, so we're just gonna let things keep rolling. Well, quit recording on me and I didn't realize it when I came down to check. No snake oil, no gimmicks, but they are pre-marked because I just did come down here and record all this and didn't realize it had stopped. But basically we got uh, one, two, three, and line break here, four in the nine, sorry, five. So minus five, pretty good target. 17 out of uh, 17 are all blocking in. That's with the uh, SIG. And with the Glock, absolutely shooter error, but uh, it's still there. But I knew the second I sent it, it was my fault. And we got one and a line break two in the nine. So it would have been a better target if I hadn't thrown it. Um, I will say, so it, they both shot great. What I will say is there's a notable difference well, besides price point, there's a notable difference. There's a notable difference through the optic. The SIG is got, the, the Romeo 2 has this very clear lens. I don't know if we can pull this off or not, but uh, looking through the glass is incredibly clear and no distortion. So I love that, the dot shows up nice. And I've got the option with it of being a circle and a dot or just a dot. Um, that was an option at, at checkout with it. The Hollow Sun has that same option and it, it does have this really nice clear glass and as long as I stay target focused, it's great. But, and I don't know if you can tell by looking through the camera lens, but there's this distortion almost like a magnification effect that you see looking through it. And if you become dot focused, instead of staying target focused, it definitely stands out. Um, I don't know guys, I don't know which one's better. I love the options of being able to have the hood or no hood, the enclosed or no enclosed, even though enclosed is probably the only way I would choose to run it since it's available. Um, and I kind of wish I had my other SIG up here with the Holosun mounted it and I was comparing apples to apples as far as gun, but I'm just trying to focus on the two optics. You know, with that in mind, price point Holosun wins. So much less expensive, has the same features minus the ability to be um, um, modular as far as removing and going open versus closed emitter. Uh, but why not just be closed emitter? Clarity, SIG wins the battle on it as far as looking through the glass and that non-magnified um, effect to it. Uh, it's definitely clear. Um, Hollow Sun, get rid of the tool only adjustment. Give us a dial that looks and runs similar to like um, the Trigicon where I can just use a cartridge case to adjust. And SIG, I think you missed the mark with that as well. Um, yeah, your tool, the fix-it stick comes with it. But man, I don't always have tools with me and I wanna just fix stuff on the fly. The recessed buttons on the Romeo 2. Love them, good positive touch to them. We'll see how they wear. Um, Hollow Sun. Um, nice oversized buttons and I haven't accidentally bumped them but I can see where it could be a thing. Six of one half a dozen another to each their own and jury's still out for me we'll see but now I'm gonna play with some other guns. Five yards, Glock 17, Hollow Sun 509. Two on a SIG. 
Five leads in for the five yards.